I turned two of these old Vinton Studio pedestals into a modern crab dolly. A crab dolly that can crab this way, crab this way, and it even has a steering mode. And I'm going to show you how and why I did it. Maintenance Man here with the latest project at Mr. Dog Poop Studios. If you watched our last video, Mr. Dog Poop bought five of these Vinton Fulmars for $295 each. Now why would he buy huge studio pedestals from the 1970s and make me drive 1,500 miles to pick them up? That's because he wanted me to build him a crab dolly for his studio. Of course, I made the mistake of building him this four-wheel steering dolly for just a couple hundred dollars. And it works as good as any doorway dolly you can buy for several thousand dollars. Now we do plan on building another one of these and doing a full build-out video, so definitely subscribe if you'd like to learn how and see us do that. Now the advantage of building your own equipment is that you can make it any size, shape, or have any features that you need. So we always prefer to build rather than buy. We get higher quality, something that works specifically for our studio, and usually for a lot less money. But I have to say, Mr. Dog Poop's latest idea is just crazy. No, not crazy. Insane! Nobody makes their own crab dolly. It's just too complicated and expensive. But trying to buy one is nearly impossible. Not to mention, you're looking at $50,000 to $200,000 for one. Companies like Chapman Leonard and Fisher only rent dollies, starting at $500 to thousands of dollars per day. While companies like Grip Factory and Panther do sell them, can anyone really afford them at over $100,000? I did find an old 1940s movie old crab dolly on eBay with a boom for $6,000. And it's right here in Florida. But I learned it was crab mode only, no steering mode. So to move it into position, you have to insert poles into the front and pick it up and move it. And did I mention it weighs 600 pounds? So yeah, not really practical. So here I am taking apart 40-year-old Vinton Studio pedestals. Now keep in mind, these are $50,000 new. So they're not junk. And the parts are super high quality. Plus, they're made out of aluminum, which is super light. The engineering on these would take us years to figure out. And we get to use high quality parts without paying a lot of money. The trick was to find at least two, preferably three Vinton dollies that were all the same without spending a fortune. So when we saw five of the same model for $295 each, we knew we had to buy them. This model, the Fulmar, is the best model for us because the wheels are separated in pods, independent units that can be easily bolted to a square frame. It's also all aluminum and lightweight. Even the main gears are aluminum to cut the weight. So here's what we have so far. We were shooting for an overall width of around 30 inches to fit through a doorway and 48 inches long. It ended up 51 by 31, which is pretty close. Right now it's in crab mode. In crab mode, we can go sideways, front ways, 45 degrees, wherever we want. In steer mode, Only two wheels turn in the back. So we have rear steer with the two front wheels held tight. So that gives us that ability. So you can see over here on the Vinton, there's a button you push to change modes. We kept the same arrangement on our dolly and used the same pieces to switch back and forth. Crab mode locks all four wheels. Steer mode locks those in place and allows me to turn the two back wheels. I would like to have a roundy round mode where the back wheels turn opposite the front wheels. However, I thought this was complicated enough 
and I'm going to go with the steering and crab mode. We still have to do some alignment of the wheels. We didn't get the alignment perfect, and that means we have to adjust some of these and how they sit on the tracks, but it's pretty close and pretty cool, and it's pretty light. We wanted to be able to have two people pick it up and put it on a truck. We didn't want too heavy. This thing is super smooth, as expected, because it's made out of $50,000 Vinton parts. But it only cost us $2,000 to build it. It's gonna give us some great shots and capabilities that we couldn't get with a simple doorway dolly. The last things to do are mount this bazooka mount so we can put on a camera and a camera operator and add the deck. We've got quarter inch aluminum, which weighs almost as much as the rest of the dolly. But it's gonna be solid, smooth, and really something. So here's what the final product looks like. And as you can see, super easy to work with. Change the modes into steering mode. We're waiting on some hand grips and some rubber for the decking. But essentially, this is our finished product. It took two weeks, but it was well worth it. A few finishing touches now, and we have ourselves a very, very, otherwise extremely pricey crab dolly that really was beyond what we were willing to spend on a crab dolly. But at $2,000, this thing's incredible. The cost for the Vintons after our trip to pick them up was about $500 each. We used three for parts and we're keeping two as is to use in the studio. We spent about $800 on aluminum for the frame and deck and $300 for the bazooka mount. However, 700 of that is for the deck, which we could have made out of plywood for about $20. But we wanted a more professional manufactured appearance. All the drilling was done with a hand drill. No special tools needed other than wrenches, screwdrivers, pliers, and so on. Now, we did weld our frame, but we could have just as easily drilled and bolted the pieces together. It's not really complicated, it's just a square frame. We used two 36 inch long pieces of six inch aluminum channel and a couple of pieces of aluminum to hold them together. So really anyone with three Vinton Fulmars and a little patience could build one of these. It's always great to repurpose old equipment and make it new again. In this case, we will have a tool that other studios dream about, and it only cost us a couple thousand dollars. But the cinematic shots we will get are priceless. And if you like how we built this dolly for $2,000, just sign up for our masterclass for $50,000 and we'll show you how to do it.